Well, welcome back. So this is the second box uh, of board game I actually got from Amazon uh, for the Black Friday. Uh, it's actually the Wonder Woman Challenge of the Amazons. It's a new release uh, in 2020. It's quite the un most unlikely title that I will actually purchase. But I don't know how I got hold of it. And also maybe because the price was really ridiculous. So for this box, um, actually I paid uh, $17.49 USD. Uh, and for the Godzilla Tokyo Crash, uh, I think that's twenty four forty nine. So, uh, it's really really something very affordable. Okay, I'll show you the back. So the back, uh, basically you have a choice of taking up one of the five heroes. It comes in miniatures, obviously. Uh, which board game doesn't come in miniature nowadays? And um, there's a very big board. Um, there's a uh, three billions, I think. Yeah. So this is actually a uh, official DC endorse and everything. It's uh, published by Ravensburger. I think it's quite a famous uh, publisher. So the same thing, I have actually removed the, the circular uh, tape. But for this box, it's actually pretty troublesome because um, while removing it, there's a lot of stain on the, that's left on the box. I had, a, I had to use the tape to uh, slowly remove all of them. And then this, uh, I like the Godzilla box. This, this turns out to be uh, quite a hazard so i hope they either use better material or they avoid using that in the future or just string wrap it or something because um i think you you won't like that on the on your box it feels a bit sticky when you open it and because of the residue of the tip okay i'll put this down because it's a bit hard for me to open the box with one hand uh, and i'll show you what's inside So are you surprised? Like the first thing that greets you when you open the box, uh, you get a picture of Wonder Woman. And this is a heavy bot for the size. Maybe I will open up the bot to show you. So look at the beautiful bot. Okay. So this is the back of the bot. Okay. Front is a. Uh, so the front you have a board that has uh, the covers uh, all the typical places like uh, the Colosseum library. Uh, you get a palace, gardens, the watchtower, and the temple of Athena. So this looks interesting already. So it comes with a rule book. Okay. The rule book also tell you all the components. I think I think this is very important for most board games. You you'll be the first thing I'll do to check if I'm having any uh, missing items. It's, it's a very clear rule book, so uh, it lists all the item, teach you how to play and so on. Okay, so I will just run through this. So these are all the tokens uh, for the enemies. So you don't get miniatures for the enemy. Unfortunately, though. Uh, then there are various tokens. Yeah, I think uh, I think all these are the relics or something that I think I did recall that you need certain relics in order to complete the the objective. So originally there will be there are also some tips here and uh, tips here to actually just stick this and keep this in place. I already removed the tape ahead. Uh, so you have the three villain cards here. I think. Yeah. Okay. And these are all the player boards, I think. Okay, so that they, they didn't really design this to have an indent here to like put your fingers down to remove it. Uh, I think that that is not so ideal because I have to really bend down to pick it up here. Okay, so we have the so these are all the heroes. You got Philippus. Okay, Dinah, Wonder Woman, Mala, Nubia, and Artemis. Okay. So this is the five figurines you will get uh, for each of the heroes. Uh, this looks almost like it's a sun drop, although I am not sure. It feels very light, plasticky, 
but look at the details I think it's fairly good probably I'll just leave it this way you know not painting them so I, I'm a bit uh, very concerned and to open this because uh, there's been some report that there are broken figurines for, uh, from some of the people who have posted on the board game geek so I want to make sure that I'm not one of the unfortunates yeah so as quickly as I can I want to like open up and check that all my figurines are okay yeah because if not I will have to do something to get them replaced so there's only five I will run through all five then Focusing on the handphone has always been a problem. I wonder if there's an easy way to fix this. Okay. So what I'm trying to bring you down to the details, you can see all the, the armor and everything. See? To the right to the helmet. The hair. It's very very nice miniatures. I mean, imagine this is like only what seventeen forty nine, and you get five miniatures. I think that's already a very good bargain. So this was one of the one that I think on the board gate they they said that some people have a missing spear, missing shoe, and things like that. So that was real sad. Uh, although I would say my spear is a bit warped too. Well, at least it's better than broken. So we go through uh, what we have here. We have actually two decks of cards. I think one deck is probably, uh, this contains the enemy, I think contains items as well. Oh, mostly it's enemies. It looks like it's all enemy cards. Right, Cheetah is the enemies. So this is the, I would imagine this is the Mayday Green, I think. And this is the slightly smaller. I'm not sure what card size is this. This could be Mayday Green, I'm not sure. Anyway, I'll, I'll, I'll confirm the size later. Yeah, so these are probably all the, the good guys cut. No, heroes cut, yes. So, pretty straightforward. And we have a uh, Standy. Wow, there's only three. I thought, I thought this is a four player game. I hope I'm not missing anything. Uh, so these are probably some counters. More counters, uh, okay, these are really nice. Okay, we have different color counters. Mm, purple as well. Yep, uh, yep, that's all. So, I will imagine this is a light, simple game. I hope it's not too difficult. Um, I'll want to like try this very soon because I think it's a new game. Um, and to make sure that you know I make my Black Friday worth it, probably purchase something that I actually play. Okay, so that's all. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I hope I have more unboxing or some other uh, topics to talk about board games soon. Thank you for viewing. See you next time.